Good morning and welcome. Happy Tuesday. I'm Joe Jaquin, CEO of the Patriot Trading Group. And our toll-free number, 800-951-0592. Something is in the air. I blame it all on Brittany. Uh, we, we had last night, Brittany leaves her phone at the office. Sends her husband into a tailspin as he's calling and she's not answering. So he's worried because, you know, she had the, the late shift last night. This morning, this morning, I'm driving to work. And I'm, I'm driving right past the air park. You know, we, we're, the, our office is just, just, just north of the Deer Valley Air Park. And I'm, I'm right there. I always, always... Uh, 19th Avenue is the, normally the exit I would take, but it's, you know, the one on under construction. 19th Avenue is closed, so I get off at 7th Avenue, and there's a light at 18th Avenue and then 19th Avenue. And the 18th Avenue light, it, it's, I hate it because it, it's, I, it's an uncanny. I always catch it, always. And I get a red light. And there's nobody, you know, there, you know, I guess, uh, I think Cox has a big operation there. Uh, and so if, you know, maybe I, and I'm assuming that's what the light was for to let, you know, them in. And, and I, so my guess is probably around eight o'clock, it's pretty busy, but you know, at, at six 15 in the morning, there's nobody there, but I always get the light. And normally I would probably jump on my phone real quick and. Just check the gold price from when I left the house to then. And and uh, I went to go do that. And when we did it, I couldn't find my phone. I'm like, where is it? I pull it on. I'm like, oh, is it on my charger? I pull my charger. It's not on the charger. It's not in my pocket. I got to drive all the way back home. Uh, and now I'm going the other way on the 101, much more crowded going the other way. Uh, Devin, I think Phoenix is rebounding here. I'm, I'm excited about it. Not a lot of traffic going the way I, I go to work, but coming, you know, traffic going into Scottsdale, yeah, it's definitely picked up, no doubt about it. And, and so now I, I leave my phone. I got to drive all the way back, get my phone, come all the way back to work. And then I get, I get here to work. And then I get a text from, from Brooke. I'm running later than usual today, so it's been a, it's been a, just one of those days. So bear with us, bear with us today. We got a great special. Uh, I told everyone yesterday, hey, hold off, hold off. I, I've been working on something. Uh, I've got a great special. Be ready for that. Uh, CBD. You know, I'm going to talk about. It. Listen, we got a bunch of new products up. Uh, we got the 3,000 milligram tincture, which I'm going to be ordering. As a matter of fact, I've already done it. You know, the 3,000, so we, we have the 1,000. And the 1,000 milligram tincture, I think that's for most people. But for for the guys out there, the gals out there, maybe you, you've, got a, you've done a little more damage to yourself. Right? You need, you need a little more power. Right? Maybe you're, you're a bigger individual. It, uh, or maybe, hey, I've been taking the thousand. It's helping, but it's still not, you know. Try the 3,000. The 3,000 milligram tincture. Uh, it, it's, it's double the price, but you get three times the power. So uh, check that out. The, the, my favorite item. I think this is going to be our, well, the tinctures are our best sellers, but the cocoa. I actually got a couple of Brooks laughing because I'm addicted to it. I take it here at the office all the time. I, I actually got a couple of emails. Hey, how much cocoa is that for uh, $40? It's a lot of cocoa. Uh, it's a one-pound bag. And these bags, the cocoa and the coffee, they come in. These bags are heavy-duty. They're nice. And they, they have the, uh, the, you know, like a Ziploc bag. They seal up nice. I, I, I'm guessing... 50 to 60 cups of cocoa at least. Uh, same thing with the, the coffee. Uh, I haven't talked a lot about the coffee. The coffee, if you're brewing pots of coffee, 
I, I probably don't recommend it because the uh, the coffee there, that's like, I don't know, maybe six pots of coffee. Uh, but if you're like my wife, my wife, uh, especially only on the weekends will she make pots of coffee because I'm at home with her. But all during the week, she just makes, she's got this little cup thing. I don't know. She buys, you know, if, if you buy, make individual cups of coffee, you know what I'm talking about. It's got like, you put the coffee filter on the top and, and you pour the water in. If you're doing individual cups of coffee, then the coffee's uh, are, are probably a pretty good value because you're going to get like 60 cups, of 50, 60 cups of coffee in that uh, coffee thing. But uh, the cocoa, it's delicious in my opinion. You know, I, I'd like to consider myself, I, I know good cocoa. I like cocoa. Uh, so the, the cocoa's up there. Uh, we also got the pet shampoo uh, for your dogs. You want them to smell nice and maybe get some benefits out of there. We got that on there now. Go out to 1360KHNC.com and get you some. Uh, the big event this Friday, uh, shout out to Cathay Athens. Uh, they are going to be catering the event. All of you on the front range, make sure you get over to Cathay Athens and tell them 1360 sent you. Uh, we got the movie that's going on. It's going to be a pretty big event. Uh, we, we've got, we'll have all of our CBD products there. You'll be able to buy, if you want to buy some gold and silver, that'll be available as well. Obviously, the movie, the food, uh, a bunch of our, uh, several of our hosts are going to be there as well. Man, we got a lot going on. Don't touch that dial. When we get back, I got a few more announcements, and then we'll talk about what's going on in the world. 800-951-0592. Uh, just a few more things we got to cover. Uh, Lord Polis, the governor of Colorado, he is on the Bill Gates train, and all cows are evil. Uh, the racist, too, if you didn't know, and has declared, I want to say it's March the 20th, no meat day. Yes, you know, uh, if you're a Catholic, uh, born and raised a Catholic, altar boy, the whole, I mean, the whole shebanger. My mom goes to church like an obscene amount of times, you know, that was how I was raised. Uh, Lent, you know, on Fridays. Right, you 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 weren't supposed to eat meat, right? Well, uh, Governor Polis has declared a no meat day, March the twentieth. Uh, one of our ranchers, you know, you think about Colorado ranching, a huge, huge part of the way of life in Colorado, and and this just this ridiculous path that we're going down and getting weirder and they're just forcing it down our throats i guarantee you uh well i'll, I'll give you a great example uh my senior in high school every tuesday now they have uh a black lives matter class yeah i well i i know whatever one of his classes do they do black lives matter now yeah they do. I mean, uh, again, and, and 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 I think black lives do matter, just like white lives, Asian lives, Mexican lives, all lives matter. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. But in response to this, one of our listeners, a rancher in Wellington, we're going to have an event in Wellington. Uh, this is going to be like uh, we're gonna, a, a barbecue. He's going to open up his property, a big barbecue, all of those things uh, happening. Uh, we'll have details. Uh, we're putting details together. Uh, he came in, talked to Jason last night, uh, and we'll get the details put up on the website, and, and we'll make more announcements as they're coming. Uh, but, but just something where uh, I know uh, Dominic's Pizza, who's uh, another – uh, a new supporter here of the radio station. They're going to have a big meat lover special uh, uh, pizza day on that day as well. So we got a lot of exciting things happening up there uh, and just uh, really uh, looking forward to getting back up to Colorado. We've been so busy. I haven't been able to get up there. I promise I'm going to get there uh, hopefully this month. So 
a lot more things coming. Make sure you check out the website. We, we've added an upcoming events page to it. Uh, Ryan's going to be as the details come up. Uh, but our first event going to be this Friday from 5 to 9. Uh, Cafe Athens is the big sponsor there. So please, uh, if you uh, drive in by Cafe Athens, stop in there, get something to eat, and let them know uh, that we sent you. Uh, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Jason's uh, Jason and Bucky Dylan are putting the whole thing together uh, for that event as well. So that's all that's going on out there. Uh, the The marketplace today, uh, gold is 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 rising right now uh 1728 up five silver just went pos well just going positive right now uh 26 dollars uh 60 cents yesterday i didn't run a special and i told all of you to wait because uh i was working on some things first let's talk about silver we talked to the bullion bank yesterday no silver eagles. So uh, we, we, we can still get them. They're going to be back dates. And they're expensive. You know, they're on the website. They're $7.75 a roll. Uh, the, the, all of that means is the mint still hasn't caught up. Uh, I'm, I'm anticipating any week now they'll become available. They're, they're going to be expensive. Silver Eagles are going to stay expensive. Matter of fact, all silver is going to stay expensive because the mint is going to need to shut down sometime either between late April and mid-May. They're going to shut down because they're going to do a relaunch of both the gold and the silver Eagles. Both programs are going to get a redesign. Very similar, go back to 1921, right? The last year of the Morgan dollar, and then they came out with the peace dollar. So uh, the, the government now, here we are, 2021, going to do the same thing. So uh, silver and gold, especially the bullion, uh, not not. No relief in sight. Uh, the bullion bank, no silver eagles, no junk bags, no bars. Uh, pretty much said he has no silver at all right now. Uh, so the pullback has not created any sellers. Let's put it that way. On the gold side, no gold eagles, no gold buffaloes, no maple leaves, uh, no Chinese pandas, no no uh, Krugerrand. He does have some Australian kangaroos. <laughs> and I laugh just because right, <clears throat> I can use those for the IRAs, but that's it. I won't sell them, and they're pricey. And then some, uh, he, uh, some uh, bar from South Africa. And he says, I don't really have very many of that, but that's essentially all that was available on the bullion side of things. Uh, can you get gold eagles out there? We probably could if you really had to have some, uh, but they're very, very expensive. And again, with the redesign coming, this is going to be, it's just going to be a tough year for availability. I don't see premiums getting a lot better uh, because demand is still off the charts. And let me tell you, this gold pullback, it was a paper gold pullback, right? You know, some guy with a chart and, and a bunch of, of money drawing the price down. There's no gold. There's no gold out there. There's no silver out there. Uh, but I think this is going to be nothing more than a buying opportunity. And this is what's happened. I'm actually looking uh, at the gold imports to India and to China. You know, they're the two major uh, consumers off the charts since the price has fallen. Off the chart. India especially. Uh, just you're, you're talking about 
three and four hundred percent increases in gold purchases. And these are for India, right? They do a lot of jewelry, uh, but they're 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 buying these dips and they're buying it hard. Uh, so again, I just think it's going to be one of those years. There's going to be a lot of pricing power, uh, because there's not a lot of product out there, but today we have 80 packages. It's going to include a $20 gold piece and four half ounce silver coins and there's going to be there's a variety of these which is great right you get some gold get some silver i like the half ounce silver that's kind of neat right especially because let's face it i think in the next five years silver's going to be a hundred dollars right so uh having a half ounce say it's 50 bucks that that could be a lot more practical so i i love it and there's all kinds of different designs with these, but it's all about price. And I don't care how you look at this. The package, a $20 gold piece, four half-ounce silver coins. It's going to be $2,095. So you look at the price of a $20 gold piece. If you go out to allamericangold.com, well, I've got $20 gold out there. For $2,120. So now I'm telling you, you're going to get the gold piece for $2,095, right? $25 off plus four half ounce gold co or silver coins. So you're going to get, you know, think about this. An ounce of silver, that's at least, at least $35. So that's $70 worth of silver. And a $20 gold piece for $2,095. So you can look at it this way. Hey, I'm buying the gold piece for uh, $25 off on sale. And I got $70 worth of free silver. I don't use the F word, free. But you can look at it that way if you wanted to. Or you go the other way. Hey, I bought $70 worth of silver. And I got a gold piece for $2,025. I mean, we haven't seen a gold piece below $2,100, what, since early, early January? Early January. So now you're going to get it below $2,100 and $70 worth of silver. This is why I told you to wait yesterday. This is why I told you to wait. That's real value. The way I like it, for me, I'm looking at it this way. I just got a gold piece for $2,025. And uh, two ounces of silver uh, for, for 70 bucks. But, you know, again, however you want to look at it, either way, it's all about value. 800-951-0592. And remember, we only have uh, 80 packages available. Uh, so... Uh, just keep that in mind, but some really good value. Uh, I like the action in gold today, kind of finding this this bottom overnight. Overnight, while we were uh, sleeping, gold hit 1700 bucks, bounced off of that. By the time I woke up this morning, uh, gold was back to, to, to even. Right now, like I said, gold's up 5 bucks. Uh, right now, uh, the Dow's down 100 points. The Nasdaq's down 150. The S&P's down 22 as, again, inflation. Uh, Goldman Sachs raising commodity prices across the board today. Uh, the the inflation, food inflation numbers getting worse again. I don't know how this is all going to work out, but I think what the market's starting to realize is what I said yesterday. Hey, without a change from the Federal Reserve, there's a problem. We are not going to be able to sell all of this debt without a change from the Fed. They're going to have to do something. Uh, CNBC this morning, they said that uh, they're expecting 
tweaks to Fed policy because of what happened last week. And again, listen, you don't know. I know. I know. Because I talk to my buddies that are in the, you know, big shots in the financial markets, in the stock market, and they all told me, you have no idea how close it was again to getting really ugly. Like, forget about Dow down 1,000. How close it was to Dow being down four or 5,000. And again, we know, all of, you, all of you know, we all know, right now, they're, they're saying GDP growth anywhere from 3 to 5% this year. And they're hoping for closer to 5 with all the money we're going to spend. Let's just say that happened. The Fed's funds rate should be rising. Matter of fact, we should have a Fed funds rate with 5% GDP growth, a Fed's funds rate of 5% plus. It's at z 0 to 0 0.25, 5% plus. Now, of course, as I so told you yesterday, that can't happen. But I'll tell you what Wall Street thinks. And, of course, what Wall Street thinks the Fed usually does. Talk about that next. 800-951-0592. So we, they got to do something. They do to protect their system. For those of you that have money in money market accounts, you better hope they do something. And again, I know, and you're not going to hear it on TV. They're not going to tell you. It was really close last week to some big problems. Uh, the money market accounts in particular are very, very sensitive to what happened in the bond market last week. And any higher, and then money markets are going to have problems. Remember last time money markets had problems? You know, they broke the buck. Right. Lehman Brothers went out. Bear Stearns went out. So they're saying that by as early as the very next meeting. So they got a meeting in two weeks. And I think they're right. I think we're going to hear something. Option number one. And I, I think this one's I, I almost I don't want I'm not guaranteeing they're gonna do it, but I'm almost positive they're at least going to do this. And this is the old operation twist. Some of you may remember during the financial crisis, the Fed did this operation twice. Operation twist and then retwist. All this, this does is, you know, as the Federal, Federal Reserve now, no one holds more treasuries than the Fed now. Right? They're the largest holder of our debt. Scary. Scary. Because they're the largest holder because no one wants this. And, and, and really, I think there would be people willing to buy a 10-year note. I do. Or a five-year or a seven-year. But not for one and a half percent. Nobody wants it for that, especially with inflation coming. But what they, uh, what I think they're going to do is reintroduce this. And all is this does is the Fed, and they hold all different lengths on their balance sheet. They hold three month paper, right? They hold. Six month paper, one year paper, two year paper, five, seven, ten, thirty, right? They hold it all. They're going to sell all of their short term paper. That's actually going to drive rates up for the smaller duration bonds. In other words, we're going to start paying people more money to hold U.S. dollars for a short period of time. And they're going to buy 
longer date maturities. And then when they mean by longer date, five years or more. Remember last week, where was the problem last week? The problem was in paper five years or longer. Nobody wanted to buy it, at least not at the rate that they wanted it to be bought at. So the Fed now, I believe, they haven't announced it yet, but this is what I believe. They're going to do something. But I believe this is a very good option. And believe it or not, now listen, do I like it? No. Do I think we should end the central bank as we know it? Absolutely. Do I think we should go back to a form of the gold standard? Yes. You want racial equality and all our, uh, not racial, I said racial. See, I can't, now I'm saying it. You want uh, economic equality, financial equality, the gold standard will give it to you. But these bankers, they are entrenched for the safety of our money. And what I mean by that, you know, listen, we own stocks, we own bonds, we have money in bank accounts, money in market accounts, 401ks, IRAs. You know, we tell you all the time, you know, and I say it all the time, be diversified. It's just smart. Of course, right now I'm telling you to be more diversified, be heavier in gold and silver. And then when after the crash comes and we go to this electronic currency, Lighten up on it. Take some profits. Buy some cheap stuff. It's my plan. But I hope they do this. Because if they don't, there's going to be big problems. And the Fed has missed more than once. And it has me worried. But I would like to see them do this. This will drive, <coughs> excuse me, this will drive rates down. On the 5, 7, 10, and 30-year paper. Well, raising rates on the shorter dated maturities. Uh, it will provide a little stability. That's what Operation Twist is. Now, the thought is, hey, they can do this and at least not have to increase their balance sheet yet. Buys them time. I don't know how much time, because I know you know I've been telling you it's coming. Uh, the balance sheet it's already growing, right? You know it's already you know eight trillion dollars. Well, they're they're not admitting eight yet, but they're going to here in the next sixty days or so. But I think they I think we're going to see a move well above ten trillion before it's over. But Twist would definitely buy them time. So this would be the Fed selling any of their short-term paper while buying longer-term debt. And, of course, obviously, uh, with a, a budget deficit projected, right, $2.3 trillion before any stimulus, so now we're saying, okay, a budget deficit above $4 trillion, that's a lot of things that need to be bought. Uh, so that's, that's the, the first thing. And again, this will actually uh, provide some time. I don't know that it does anything more than provide time. This doesn't fix the problem with the money markets because the money markets – are very dependent upon what's happening in the 10-year uh, note and, and, and longer-term uh, maturities. The other thing they say the Fed may do is provide a higher rate of return in the leftover monies from banks that they leave overnight at the Federal Reserve. That, right, in other words, we're going to pay banks not to lend money. That will help shore up the problem in the money markets. So there's a couple of things at work here. I think they're probably going to need to do both, and it's still not going to be enough. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back right after the break. 800 951 
night, you just think about everything they've got to do. You know, these, these are these tools they keep talking about. Right? And it's nothing more than manipulating the truth. Right? You know, we hate it when our kids try to manipulate us or, or you know, when they, they give you like half-truths, you know, when they're going to be in trouble. You know, they, they tell you the story. Maybe they're not maybe lying, but they're not giving you the whole story. Right? This is this. This is what this is. This is the financial equivalent to this. Now, the difference is, instead of taking away your kid's cell phone or, you know, grounding them or not letting them, taking the keys to the car or whatever it may be, this has to do with all that wealth you've worked your butt off for. And especially if you've been fortunate enough that, hey, I've done well. And I was able to put a lot of money away in my 401k. I got a, good, a nice IRA or, or even maybe you inherited money from your folks, whatever it may be. You got some money here. How about those, hey, I'm just working my butt off to stay afloat double. Right? Hey, I'm, 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 I'm working middle class. You know, right now, I mean, whatever I've got in my 401k plus my house, that's it. That's what I got. And let me tell you, Social Security is going to be rough. Rough. I mean, I don't think the Fed, you know, the government could take that away, as you know. I've, you know, if you listen to my commercials legally, Social Security is a tax, just so you know. They don't have to pay you crap. They don't. I think they're going to. The problem is the little pittance that you're going to get ain't going to buy anything. That's the problem. And wait till the digital currency would be even worse. But now they're talking about we want to manipulate rates. See, the bond market knows. Man, rates got to go up a lot, a lot. And that's it, it, that, that's that, you know, the, the, the snowball. You know, it's going downhill and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger as it goes downhill, right? That's the debt markets. The biggest snowball of them all, the bond market. And they're in here playing games. That's not going to be enough. Twist isn't going to be enough, by the way. And none of this may work. This is the problem. The other thing they're saying that the Fed should do is increase the amount that they would pay banks not to lend. They call that excess reserves. And this is very important. Right now, the Fed lends the banks a trillion, trillions of dollars a day because they really don't have that much excess reserves because uh, all their money's tied up in these bonds. Right now, with two, after what happened in 07 and 08, the financial crisis, the Fed, you know, Dodd-Frank said, hey, listen, banks have to have excess reserves. Have to. Of course, they use COVID as a reason to say you don't now. So right now, there's hardly any excess reserves at the Fed. So they're, they're talk of raising, okay. Raising it to 0.15. Right now, they get one-tenth of 1%, but no one's doing that. They're saying, hey, raise it to 0.15. I don't know that it helps. Unless you force the banks to put it there, I don't know that that helps very much. But okay, uh, it sounds good. right? That could be, you know, again, you know, oh, look at what the Fed's doing, right? You know, let's, let's dazzle them with bull crap. Right? Don't ever, ever take activity as accomplishment. This is nothing more than activity. This is kind of worthless. Uh, and again, it's kind of funny how, again, I told you, they don't care about us. Why aren't these reserves already? They should be there. That's the law. That was the law. Then the other one is doing uh, reverse repos and paying more for that. Uh, that could be effective, but no matter how well intended all of this is, and you need to know this, all of their efforts, whether you want to call them tools, uh, engineering things, essentially them trying to manipulate everything, 
I like to call it this way. You know a, a, a liar? And they just keep on lying. And eventually, if you give them enough rope, right, they get tangled up in their lies, right? How do you think, like, the detectives solve all these cases? The guy goes in there, starts lying to them, right? And eventually, they catch them in the lie. This is what's happening. The Fed's credibility is weakening. It really is. Right? This is why we're having these bond market tantrums and all this other stuff. If we have another bad auction or two, none of this is going to help. And again, ultimately, I know the, there's only one thing that's going to help. The Fed dramatically increasing their balance sheet. That's it. And they're not going to do that yet. That's going to come later. Better have your stuff bought before it happens. Listen, I hope this nonsense works. Right? The twist. The twist is a good idea because that's where the tantrum was in the longer dates. But the doesn't change anything. The problem is there's way too much supply, period. And the supply is going to get really, really, really big. 800-951-0592. This is, without a doubt, the best special we have run since the insurrection. Without a doubt, a U.S. $20 gold piece, four half-ounce silver coins, all for $2,095. bucks. 800 951 Put them away. And let's hope the Fed's quote-unquote activity delays the inevitable. Patriot Radio News Hour. We'll be back for the final segment. Final segment here on this Tuesday, 800 Nine five one zero five nine two goes now up ten. Uh, make it eleven. Seventeen thirty five. I, I think the bottom is here. This is it. Uh, silver, uh, as I was telling you, getting ready to go positive. It's now gone positive. Uh, silver now twenty six seventy five. Take advantage. Listen, I know. Oh, uh, you know what? You know why is it gold rallying or silver rally? It will. Don't worry. That shouldn't be what you're asking. You should be grateful that it hasn't yet. It's going to. And again, I think in two weeks, you're going to hear the Fed with all this activity. Again, this is more manipulation trying to hide what's really happening. And there's nothing I can say because I don't want to scare anybody. I want them. I want this to work. It's not going to. How do, you, how do you hide 30 trillion? You can't. Listen, before the year is over, the Fed is going to have to give in and say, we've got to increase our balance sheet. And remember, the Treasury, Janet Yellen wants to lower the Treasury balance. She wants to, you know, square up here. That's, a, that's an instant $2 trillion on their balance sheet. And I think they're going to have to do that because that will help drive rates down. They can't have rates here. The housing market, at least refinancing, has come to a complete halt. If it starts affecting housing prices, look out, right? Because we know how fast sentiment can change in the housing market, don't we? Take the time, put, put it away. A $20 gold piece, four half-ounce silver coins. So you're looking at two ounces of silver. That's $70 worth of silver. A $20 gold piece, right? A regular 20 you go out to the website right now, it's $2,120. You're going to get a $20 gold piece, two ounces of silver for 2095 bucks. That's huge, huge value. And I think, I think now it could be wrong, but I think we caught the bottom too. So uh, just like that, in one break, uh, gold shot up five more bucks. 800-951-0592. Uh, the Dow is down about 100 points right now. The NASDAQ's down 150. The only thing up today right now, gold and silver. The 10-year note falling again, 141. I think a lot of people, including myself, 
We expect the central bank to react to what happened. They have to. They have no choice. Uh, and those reactions are gold positive. Those reactions are silver positive because essentially what they need to do is what? Try to keep a lid on these rates and they're struggling to do it. And we have trillions more coming. And you don't, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. The balance sheet's got to go way up. You know, is it, I don't think 10 trillion's enough. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised uh, that we see a balance sheet. You know, this time next year, we're talking about a balance sheet from the Fed at 12, maybe 15 trillion. <laughs> Think about it. And a debt of this time next year, what? I don't know, 33, 34 trillion, right? Do that. I mean, we may have 50 trillion just in that alone. Just those two. Crazy. 800 951 Don't forget about those CBD products. God bless everybody. Have a great day.